Now, for those of you who think that Trump is anti-establishment, that he's going to fight against, you know, the corruption in the government and against the bankers, for example, who fucked us over in 2008, and that he's uh, going to make America great by choosing uh, great, fantastic people uh, that are outside the system. Great people, including his new pick, which is a former partner from Goldman Sachs. That's right. Today, Donald Trump named Stephen Nunchen, chairman of CEO or chairman and CEO of private investment firm Dune Capital Management, to serve as his national finance chairman for his presidential campaign in the general. Now, his job will be essentially to help raise money for Trump's general election campaign. Well, now wait a minute. I, I thought he was completely self-funding his campaign. Well, it turns out. He's going to try and take a little bit of money. Uh, Trump said on Wednesday that he will begin to raise money for his general election bid after self-funding a majority of his primary campaign. Now, he's looking to work closely with the Republican National Committee. So, of course, he's going to need a finance chair to uh, help facilitate that, right? Now, Trump recently announced his selection by saying this, quote, Stephen is a professional at the highest level with extensive and very successful financial background. He brings unprecedented experience and expertise to a fundraising operation that will benefit the Republican Party and ultimately defeat Hillary Clinton. Now, you might be saying, okay, well, look, this pick, how does that prove that Trump is establishment? Well, okay, certainly Nunchen isn't the political establishment, right? Because he's never been in office. However, being at Goldman Sachs for 17 years, and giving lots of donations to politicians during that time, he certainly seems to be part of the political uh, economic establishment. According to the Huffington Post, Nunchen had donated a lot of money to politicians, including Hillary Clinton. They write, after spending 17 years at Goldman Sachs, Nunchen became the founder, president, and CEO of One West Bank Group, LLC, from 2009 to 2015. A bank backed by George Soros. Oh my God, no. George Soros has taken over the Trump campaign. <laughs> yes, right-wingers' heads might actually be exploding over this. Like, oh my God, I knew it, George Soros. George Soros! Now, I don't actually buy into all the conspiracies about George Soros or anything like that, but it is interesting how, you know, he's okay with a guy that a lot of Republicans would find very uncomfortable. I don't know. Maybe, right? Uh, now, One West Bank was, as I said, backed by Soros and several other hedge fund managers and billionaires. Hmm. The group sold the bank to CIT Group for $3.4 million in a merger that was completed last August. During his tenure at Goldman Sachs and beyond, Nunchin contributed more than $7,000 to Clinton's New York Senate bids in 2000 and 2006, as well as her run for the Democratic nomination in 2008. According to federal contribution data on OpenSecrets.com, Nunchen also donated $1,000 to Republican candidate Steve Forbes in June 1999, along with several other presidential and congressional candidates in both parties. Nunchen contributed $2,000 to Obama's 2004 Senate campaign and $2,300 for his presidential bid in 2007. Oh my God, he gave money to the Muslim usurper Obama! And this guy is Trump's presidential uh, campaign finance chairman. Real outsider appeal there. Other beneficiaries of his largesse, they write, have included Democrat John Edwards, Chuck Schumer, Republican Rudy Giuliani, Democrat Al Gore, and John Kerry. So just like Trump, this guy has donated to many establishment Democratic politicians. Now, I wonder if Trump supporters who are Republicans can get past all of that. I'm not sure they can. And according to Politico, Nunchen also has a lot of political connections in both Hollywood and on Wall Street. Now, that's actually great for raising money from rich donors. Now, something that Trump says he's trying not to do. But it seems to me like putting in a guy like Stephen Nunchen, who I personally have no, uh, I have no issue with this guy. 
I have no issue with this guy, but it seems like a bit of an odd choice for someone who claims to be the ultimate outsider. In my opinion, the only thing that makes Trump an outsider is that he's never been a politician. He's actually the guy that's been bribing politicians. And so has his new campaign finance chair. Now, it's legal bribes in the form of campaign contributions, but bribery nonetheless. Now, Trump, that just shows me that Trump doesn't want to change that system. He's only using that self-funding thing to take advantage over the anger of the issue of money in politics. Now, 84% of Americans think that money has too much influence in our political system. And most a uh, majority of Americans do not agree that corporations are people and should give money to presidential campaigns. Rich people have too much power, they have too much influence, and they give too much and have too much impact in our politics. He could say he's against that all day, but at the end of the day, he actually doesn't have any plan to solve it. Now this makes him someone who implicitly uh, endorsed the system while still being able to rail and fundraise off of it. And that kind of makes him a hypocrite, to be honest with you. Look, my final summation to this is that Donald Trump is no outsider. He just knows how to play the game from both sides. First from bribing the politicians, then being on the other side of where we could see in the general him accepting bribes from other people as a politician. We'll have to see if that happens. I can almost guarantee that it's going to be so much money that not even Trump can turn it down.